Karibu katika platiko namba 2 ya database programming. Kwenye platiko hii namba 2 tutajifunza table association au namna ya kutengeneza relationship katika table kwa kutumia constraint mbili. Ya kwanza ni primary key, ya pili ni foreign key. Lakini mwisho kabisa tutajifunza database constraint pale ambapo una delete data, una update data na una insert data katika table. Lakini pia tutajifunza namna kuforce reference target katika table. Unapofanya relationship au unafanya table association baina ya table mbili cha msingi cha kuzingatia ni full participation na partial participation. Kwa mfano, na table ya department ambayo tulitengenezwa kwenye practical number 1 na table ya employee hizi table mbili zina relationship au kuna mahusiano kuna mahusiano kati ya department na employee au unaweza kusema kwamba employee yupo kwenye department kwa ipo relationship baada ya kugundua kwamba ipo relationship swali ni kwamba ni table ipi itakuwa na primary key na table ipi itakuwa na foreign key au ni table ipi itakuwa ni mother table yenye primary key na table ipi itakuwa ni child table yenye foreign key kuweza kugundua au kujibu swali hilo ni kwamba unaangalia full participation na partial participation hii kiwa na maana kwamba ni table ipi ina participate kwa mwenzie fully na table ipi ina participate kwa mwenzie partial suppose kwamba anachukua primary key kwenye table ya department na leta katika table ya employee kwa foreign key je yeah, nipo sahihi au nachukua primary key kutoka katika table ya employee na ipeleka katika table ya department kuwa kama foreign key je yeah, hiyo ni sahihi yupi anatoka kwenda kwa mwenzie kwa foreign key hilo ni swali la kujiuliza so kujibu swali hilo ndo concept ni kwamba unaangalia ni nani ana participate kwa mwenzake fully participation na maana gani full participation ni kwamba kila record itakuwa added kwenye table ya employee itakuwa na department kila record itakayokuwa added kwenye table ya employee itakuwa assigned na department hii kwa maana kwamba kila employee atakayekuwa registered atayekuwa katika department kila employee atakuwa kwenye department lakini sio lazima kila department kuwa na employee mfano unaweza kuwa na department mbili katika taasisi department ya human resource na department ya marketing lakini sio lazima uwe na kolamu hapa hiyo kolamu ambayo itakuwa ni employee id sio lazima kwa hiyo unajikuta kwamba hii table ya department ina participate partial katika table ya employee hai participate moja kwa moja kwa sababu sio lazima kwenye table ya department kuwe na employee ila ni lazima katika table ya employee kuwe na department kila employee atakuwa registered na department kwa hiyo table ya employee ina participate fully kwenye table ya department ile table ambayo ina participate fully kwenye table ya mwenzie hiyo itakuwa ni child table na ile table ambayo ina participate partial hiyo itakuwa ni mother table kwa kesi namna hiyo basi hii table ya employee itakuwa na foreign key moja kanuni ya foreign key foreign key ni primary key kutoka katika mother table key ambayo inatumika kuonyesha relationship baina ya table mbili. Relationship inaweza kuwa ni one to one, one to many au many to many. Ili kutengeneza relationship katika table ya employee, unatengeneza column ambayo itakuwa ni foreign key yenye data type na ambayo ina sifa ya kuwa foreign key. Kwa kesi ya namna hiyo basi, hapa kuna department ID na department name nitaadi kolam kwenye table employee nitaipa jina la department kisha nitaifanya kuwa foreign key tayari department imeshakuwa added kwa nitakuja nitasema foreign key kisha nitaweka bracket kisha nitaitaja hiyo kolam ambayo ni department kisha nitaweka reference kwamba foreign key ni primary key ya kwenye table ambayo ni mother kwa references ina maana kwamba nahitaja sasa hiyo kolam kwenye mother table Reference ni department, department schema inafanya reference 
kwenye department ID Kinachofuata katika hatua hii ni referential target database constraint database constraint inaweza kuambadilisha ni kwenye mother table ni impossible Nikishafanya kitu kama hichi hapa tayari nimeshatengeneza relationship Siruhusi kufuta data katika table department Siruhusi kufuta department wakati department inatumika katika table ya employee Code deletion kwenye mother table table yenye primary key ni impossible kwa sababu data inatumika katika child table kwenye share relationship Maelezo ndani zaidi na practical za ndani zaidi yatapatikana katika practical za mbele Update kwenye mother table ni possible ninaweza nika update department lakini haita reflect katika table employee haita update katika table employee insertion katika mother table ni possible unaweza kuinsert data katika department wala hakuna shida yoyote vipi katika child table deletion kwenye child table ni possible lakini haita delete data katika mother table niki delete department kwenye employee haita delete your department kwenye department table update kwenye child table ni possible ninaweza nika update department lakini haita reflect katika table ya department haita update wala kubadilisha insertion katika child table may or may not unaruhusiwa kuinsert data kwenye child table may ni kwamba endapo data hiyo ime exist katika mother table Huruhusi kuinsert data katika child table ambayo haija exist katika mother table vipi kuhusu kwenda kinyume na hizi uh, default constraint hizi ni database constraint kwenda kinyume kwenda beyond na hizi default database constraint maana yake itabidi u force constraint force constraint unaitwa enforcing reflection target ku force reflection target ni kwenda beyond na hii hapa deletion katika mother table ni impossible kwa sababu data inatumika kwenye child table sasa no longer deletion kwenye mother table itakuwa possible itakuwa possible kwa kwenda kwa kuweka command hapa inaitwa on update on delete cascade on delete cascade maana yake ukifuta katika mother table ifute na kwenye child table on delete cascade on delete cascade ume force reference target umekwenda beyond na database constraint update kwenye mother table ni possible lakini haita update kwenye child table kwenda beyond na hii constraint utaandika keyword hapa inaitwa on update cascade on update cascade so now no longer uki okay, update kwenye mother ita update kwenye child insertion kwenye mother table ni possible na hii ni by default wala ina shida yoyote deletion kwenye child table ni possible update kwenye child table ni possible insert kwenye child table may or may not concept ni kwamba database constraint ya ku force reflection target inafanyika katika mother table na haifanyiki katika child table kwa hiyo nikidelete data katika child table by default ikiwa ame force reflection target ikiwa hauja force reflection target haita delete data kwenye mother table haita delete data kwenye mother table so ni concept ya kuizingatia kwa operations zote za database yani deletion updation na insert ukiforce reflection target zitafanyika katika mother table kwa ukifuta kwenye mother table ita reflect kwenye child uki update ita, ita reflect kwenye child na vile vile uki insert ita reflect katika child lakini kwenye child wala hakuna uh, effect yoyote kwa enforce reflection target inafanyika kwenye mother table lakini inaenda kwa implemented kwenye child table kwa kwa kesi namna hiyo hapa tume force reflection target on delete cascade on update cascade sometime naweza kusema on delete set default set default 
itarejesha ile column kuwa katika default constraint. Default constraint ya column ni null. Kwa itakuwa set to null. Au on delete set null. Bado ita set null the same. Au on delete set uh, no action. On delete no action inarudi kwenye default constraint kwamba on delete huwezi kufuta kwenye mother table wakati data inatumika kwenye shadi table itarudi kwenye default constraint no action so baada kuelewa concept ya namna hiyo so na kuja katika table product table product uh, itaonyesha hii product imekuwa added na employee gani so kila product lazima ionekane imekuwa added na employee gani so hapa nitaongeza hiyo for rank nitaitaja hiyo column ambayo ni employee id for rank ambayo nilisha add ya hapa itakuwa ni for rank then inafanya reference references to employee inafanya inference ya employee id just call my employee id then on update cascade uh, yes na katika table ya sales mauzo ni product gani inauzwa na ni nani ambaye anauza ionekane kwenye database ni product gani inauzwa na ni nani anafanya transaction so foreign key hapa zitakuwa hapo mbili so keyword inaitwa foreign uh, just key unahitaji hiyo column itakuwa ni product id as well zini product id inafanya references kwenye table ya product kwenye table ya product zini inafanya reference ya product id uh, kwenye table hiyo ya product zini on update what put cascade no just cas Okay. So for any key nyingine itakuwa ni hiyo uh, employee ID. So just ni copy hii hapa. Je ni paste sorry. For any key ni employee ID for any key oh hii hapo. If for instance employee na employee ID on update cascade So now we uh, database uh, tables mesha zifanyia modifications. So now tunazi paste katika database yetu. Uh, database save. Kwa hiyo paste nita copy ya kwanza hii ya employee. Itakuja katika uh, hii hapa ambayo ni terminal. Nita drop ili lo kuwepo. Drop table uh, customers. Uh, sorry drop table uh, table gani mi copy uh, employee drop table employee drop table employee okay you have created as well okay now so now uh, just create table department down here I'm going to create it so you tell me exist so yes ni ni create table ambao ni hii hapa uh, employee then key execute uh, syntax error uh, just check here on delete sorry on delete request jamalizia cascade na on update cascade so na ongeje kui copy uh, table employee kuja kui paste hapa nye table hii hapa paste table isha na execute video kui copy uh, table hii hapa o ya products just copy nikuja kui paste kwenye terminal Uh, yes, Ipo. So na drop drop table uh, products. So na misha drop kisha na iweka ile na execute. Na ya kui copy ya misho ambani sales. <coughs> yes copy sales. Na on update ka schedule guys. Na kujia kui paste katika terminal. Uh, it may exist so now on a drop table uh, sales 
and I execute. I paste here. Click enter. So tell me when you PHP admin. When you PHP admin, you can visit the department employee product. So I'm going to get a mong, get a designer. So now relationship shall be created in Bonilla. So in employee, then you can sell somewhere. A product here, uh, sales here. So relationship we shall created. Come on, Abona here. Relationship. 